Hello everyone, welcome back for another Therapy Tip Tuesday. My name is Miss Rosie and you might recognize me from the Wantor Jericho offices. I'm going to be giving you all some tips and tricks for the month of September. So the first thing I think about for September is back to school. So I'm going to give you all some ideas on how school supplies can target different speech and language goals. This can include categorization, WH questions, describing, following directions, building sentences that all pertain to the school supply theme. So let's get started. Parents can start by asking the child what crayons, highlighters, pencils, as well as scissors. What group would all of these belong to? If the child has a difficult time thinking of what group these would all belong to, the parent can give them some choices. Would these belong to the animal or the school supply group? From there, additional questions can include what other school supplies are there? What else would be in that group? They could say colored pencils, colored markers, uh, pencil cases, notebooks, folders, and keep going for as long as they can to see how many items they could name in the school supply group. From here, we can ask additional WH questions. So, what are different types of school supplies? Where do you get school supplies? Who is going school supply shopping? And why do you need supplies for school? These are all just some examples. Parents from here can help the child to make a list of what items they may need for the upcoming school year. This is a great way to keep organized and know what they need to get from the store. There are also some schools that do provide the child and the parent with a list of the items that they need before coming to school, which can be reviewed. This is a great way to keep organized and know what to expect. Before leaving for the store, the parent should go over what the schedule is like for the day. This can either be just by verbally saying it to the child or using a visual schedule, depending on what works best for the child. This way they know what to expect and know what their day is like. So we have our list, we know what we need to get, and now we're on our way to the store. We're finally in the store, we're walking in, and now we have the option of getting a cart or a basket. So a parent can ask a child, do we need a big cart or a little basket? By saying not just the words, but providing the visual, the child can understand or attempt to understand the different sizes. If they still have a hard time understanding if they need a big cart or a little basket, the parent can give you additional ideas on how many items would fit in a cart or a basket. For example, like 10 items can fit in a cart and only two things can fit in a basket. So which one do we need? And the child can respond with either one, two, or just pointing to the item that they think that they'll need. So let's keep going. Now we're in the store, we have our basket or our cart, and we're walking up to the school supply section. The parent sees it coming up. So we'll ask the child, do you see the school supplies? Where is it? Is it over there? And have the child look around the store and see if they can find it. They can answer with either, yes, I see it, just pointing, or in a way that fits them best. A parent can then respond with the appropriate response like, yes, I see the school supplies. Yes, it's over there, confirming the child's responses. Okay, so now we're coming up, we're in the school supply section and the child is very overwhelmed with all of the options and all the different school supplies because you know you can't just have a simple five objects in the aisle. There are always a various amount of options. So the parent can then bring out their list. Obviously it would be filled out and go over what they need to get. Here we can target some following directions and listening to instructions. The parent can ask the child to get one, two, or three things from the list based on how well they are with focusing. The child can then see on the list what they need to get and go into the aisle. By making it a nice game, it keeps them engaged and motivated. So they'll go over to the aisle and see a red, black, or even a green pencil case. Now it's time to make some sentences. 
They look at the parent and they bring you all three. You can't have all three for the school day, so they have to say which one they want. They can respond with one word, red. They can respond with two words, black case, black pencil case, or they can respond with three or more. I want green pencil case, depending on what they're able to do so. So those are just some examples of some sentences that they can make. Additional sentences can be made from the different colored folders or notebooks or size of crayons options that are there in the store. So these are all my therapy tips and tricks for using school supplies for this week. I hope you all have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.